So back in 2009, when was 2009? That was forever ago. I was here in Hollywood, Florida. Matter of fact, it was Jeff, our sound guy's first shoot that we ever did on Triple D. And we come to this funky place. Oh, the sign has changed, but I hear the food is still rocking and just the same. This is Sonny's famous steak homies. There's no surprise that Triple D would come here because this is the best of the best. I eat here so often, I was actually here when Diner Strivens and Dice filmed the first episode. Four generations all eaten at Sunny's. Yeah, that's great. It's always going to be fresh, always delicious. I was probably his first customer of the day he opened. That was back in 58, long before Sunny Nigro's son John and his wife Marilyn took over the family biz. <laughs> Yeah, what's up, buddy? Uh, I was a million years ago. God, we only got better looking, dude. I agree with you. I'm telling you. Tell me a story here about why Hoagie out on the sign is H-O-G-I-E-S. I thought there was an A in it. My dad did it on purpose. He wanted people to say, where's the A? And that was the very beginning, and that was the first few years of doing Dinosaur Travels and Dives. And he set the bar pretty high. How many rolls do you make a day? We made between 30 and 50 dozen a day. So you started to go 30 and 50, and I'm like, wow, you seem busier than that today. Well, not that 30 or 50. 30 or 50 dozen. Oh, okay. We started with the water. This is fresh yeast heated up in some water. This is the big shot way right here. Then I have salt. I have dye malt. Who? Dye malt is the food for the yeast. Flour. 11 and a half pounds to start with. We're going to mix it for a little while, and then we'll add some butter and shortening. Another 12 pounds of flour. Got it. It's not your first rodeo, is it there, John? Uh, no. The dough starts being carried by the hook. It's ready to go. Now we take it out, and where does it go? It goes into a dough box. For how long? About an hour. Then we punch it down, and then it starts to come up again. I should feel how warm it is. What size are we going for? Four and a half ounces. Boy, you're good. That is dead on. I say that's perfect. Thank you. I'm out. That is perfect. We want to fold it a little up, turn it over, roll it out. That's good. We're still doing it on by hand. Remember one by one? That's why he's got those Popeye forearms. Look at those things. Look at that. Huh? Arm wrestling jam. <laughs> it must be the ones I really like. Yep. Mm. Great crust, but light. That's a good one. It's nice to come back and visit. I can't believe the years have burned off so fast. Oh, no. What's been happening? We've still got our 95s and our 50s. This is the 95. We haven't gone to normal methods. So. <laughs> Number 90 with mozzarella. There's four kinds of steak hookers. Yes. A 50, a 95, a 90, and a 9. Right. Mm-hmm. The 5 is like an S for sauce. Zero, O for onions. The 9, you turn it around, it's a P, plain. A 50 is S, O, sauce and onions. A 95 is plain with sauce. And a number 9 is totally plain. So you have the 50? The 90. What number is that? That's a 90. I still don't know how to do it, okay? And what we have here is boneless ribeye, just a little bit frozen. You're gonna just pop it in the sleeve. We're looking for like a sixteenth of an inch. You cut that so thin, there's only one side to it. <laughs> Goes on the wine, yellow onions. We're gonna put a little bit of butter on the side. Always better with butter. And they cover it. We're just waiting for it to get to a point where we can break it up. Put a little salt on top. A little butter again. Mix it all together. And now I'm ready to put my provolone cheese. And that's all she wrote? It's ready to go. Whoa. Thank you, thank you. What the kicker on that is? The butter. I think I've had everything on the menu, but Katie's making something special. And what do you call this? A 90 with American provolone. Here's your 90 with American and provolone. So you get the creaminess of the American, the American and the saltiness of the provolone. And the density of the provolone. Katie, how long have you worked here? I've been here seven years. Seven years. All right, so five days a week times, let's say, 15 dozen. Hang on, hang on. I want to figure out how many you've made. You made over 26,250 hoagies. This is 26,251. I love it, too. So what'd you call it? It's a 95 with... It's a 90 with American. Never quite get it right. Well done, sister. Have it on a 90 with provolone and American. It's excellent. It's the steak. They cook it with the butter, the onions. He shaves it so thin that it almost melts in your mouth. You can't go wrong with the onions, the American cheese, and the provolone. It's the best. Your 26,251 is a big hit. Nice job. <laughs> and the hits just keep on coming. It's so good, though. But it's not all about the numbers. 
Chicken parm. No, I'm good. I can go on like this. Thank you. All right. Up next. I'm in Hollywood, not California, but Florida, where I am getting ready to enjoy a Philly cheesesteak and not seafood at a place called Sonny's that's owned by a guy named John. That was my first visit back in 2009. But I tell you, it wasn't my last. What's up, buddy? I haven't found very many places like Sonny's. Weighing out the meatballs, making the little footballs. We make them into little footballs. So they fit cylindrically, cylindrically, cylindrically. Cylinder? Cylindrical. So they fit cylindrically? Wow, that doesn't sound right, does it? <laughs> so, so they, they fit all your own. <laughs> Scoop them out. Set scoop off the palm of the hand. Down. Like this? Yes. We're a good team, Johnny. Come and play at your house more often. Go in the oven 400 degrees an hour. At 400? Wow, it's a long time. They come off with a little bit of color on top of it, and it's, it's still very tender. That's nuts. Actually, those are meatballs. Take a roll, take a couple of meatballs, they're going at an angle, put some sauce on it. Mm. <laughs> the meatball is tender as you can find. Oh, yeah. mm. Nice job. Thank you. Anything new on the menu? Do you have anything for me? Yes. yes. What do you got? Chicken parmesan. We butterfly the chicken and pound it out. And we dip the chicken into the egg wash and use homemade breadcrumbs. We'll grind up our bread, and then we'll add granulated garlic, parsley, grated cheese, and then dip the chicken into the breadcrumbs. I'm going to add some oil and our chicken, put a weight on it, add a little bit of butter, cheese, and then I want to put my lid on top of it in order to melt the cheese. Grab my roll, put our homemade red sauce on top of it. I remember making the red sauce with you. This is celery, carrots, and onions. And now we have some garlic, which has already been smashed. Okay. I'm going to bring this to a boil. And now we're going to add our spices. Oregano, basil, basil, salt and pepper. Yes. And then hit it with the tomato sauce. Yep. We're going to put it through that strainer assembly. It'll push everything down. Mmm. <laughs> no, I'm good. I can go on like this. Thank you. All right. It's so good, though. I love the chicken parm. The red sauce is excellent on anything that you would want to put it on. It tastes like it's straight from Italy. Chicken parm. How's business? It's still excellent. great. Excellent. Been great. If you recall, when we did the show, we had just closed on Sundays. Seven days a week. Um, actually, in 2006, we changed to six days. Six days. So we're closed on Sundays now. Okay. Uh, now that's going to change. Yeah. You'll be going back, won't it? <laughs> we ended up opening on Sundays again. I finally talked him into closing the day, and you said, no, Johnny, you got to open on Sundays. <laughs> so we're open on Sundays. Open every day, and business did go up at least 30 40%. You deserve much success. You run a really nice operation. Kudos to you, my friend. You're the stories that make this so easy. You're shining examples to people that watch the show. So you know what? I can go make my own mom and pop joint. I can make it work. And uh, you've done it. So happy for you. You guys are awesome. Uh, take care, guys. Thank you. Keep it up.